So here to help us with your medicine cabinet upgrade and general health tips for the whole family is well-known RN and health expert, Linda Champa. Linda, great to see you again. Thanks for having me. Really good to see you. So uh, start off, what's, what's going on with our medicine cabinets today? You know, cold and flu season, it's in full swing. So I think it's a great idea to go through your medicine cabinet now, throw, throw out anything that's expired or just doesn't look right, because when medications expire, they can lose their potency, and sometimes some of them can be harmful. But you don't want to just dump them down the drain. You want to check with your city or your town for the local rules on how to dispose of them properly. Great. So what are some of the comfort measures that we can take to provide you know, relief when battling a cough? Sure. You know, if you wake up in the middle of the night with a cough due to the common cold, you want something that works quickly, like Vicks VapoRub. This, uh, doctors, pediatricians, pharmacists have been recommending this cough rub, and consumers have been counting on it for more than 100 years. I was really glad to have mine on hand last week when my son woke up with a hacking cough, put a little on his chest, it was soothing, it helped him get back to sleep, and you really need to sleep when you're sick to fight these viruses off. And besides um, sleep, hydration is really important. I like nasal rinses, those help. That, they don't have medication in them, but they help um, with nasal congestion. A humidifier can help you sleep better. And there's really something to chicken noodle soup. Of course, we all love the chicken noodle soup. Yes. Uh, what essentials should we stock up on when it comes to pain and fever relievers? Uh, or stuff for the upset stomach. Oh, sure, sure. Well, you know, for aches, pains, muscle soreness, ibuprofen or naproxen, those are great because they're anti-inflammatories. Acetaminophen is good to have on hand because it can bring down a fever. But this time of year, you know, if you're showing up with an upset stomach, and a lot of us are because there's football games and people are overindulging a little bit too much in comfort foods, you want to make sure that your bottle of Pepto-Bismol is in date. This medicine cabinet essential provides soothing relief for a whole bunch of things we don't want to talk about, but we're going to talk about them. Heartburn, indigestion, nausea, upset stomach, and diarrhea. And you can keep the handy little tablets on hand in your pocket or in your bag so that you can treat stomach troubles on the go. And uh, so how can families keep all their medical and health information organized for easy access? Sure. You know, it's fine to treat the cough, the cold, and upset stomach for a couple of days. But if things uh, with, with these over-the-counter meds or comfort measures, but if things aren't getting better, you really do need to call your doctor. So I've got a great website and app that can help, help you be prepared for that visit. It's called MediPortal. It's a new secure patient portal that allows you to pull all your medical and fitness data into one easy to navigate profile. So you can access your medical records, you can track your fitness with wearable technology and view a complete picture of your health at any time. It's really sort of like a gateway to better health. Very, very good. Uh, now with many options out there when it comes mm -hmm. to purchasing your medicine cabinet uh, items or essentials, uh, where would you recommend going? Oh, you know, I want to tell you about this great website and app that I recently found out about. I'm completely sold on it. It's called Boxed. I don't know if you've heard about it, but it's like an online Costco, uh, but it doesn't have any membership fees, and there's free two-day delivery on most orders. So you can stock up on all your essentials without leaving your house, and the easy-to-use app is perfect for those bigger bathroom items like, like paper towels, toilet paper, and soap. I just used it last week for the first time. The, the prices are great, and I have to tell you, I'm sold. Everything comes right to your door. It's really easy. Great. What other tips do you have for us that you could share you know, with us and our medicine cabinet makeover? Sure. You know, one thing I want to point out, a lot of us have our medicine cabinets in the bathroom, and it's actually a bad place to have your medicines because most bathrooms are warm and wet, and, and medications can break down in that environment. So a better idea is to look for a, a cool, secure location. So I like to tell people, put everything in a shoebox and, and put it um, up high in a closet, lock the door because you don't want your kids getting into it. That's the best place to have it. And then it's easy to reach for, too, in the middle of the night when you get up um, and, and you have to treat yourself or, or your child. Great, Linda, thank you very much. Uh, is there anything else you want to share with us? Otherwise, you could tell us where to go to get more information. Sure, one thing I, I will share with you um, as far as, uh, you know, the best way to prevent the flu, get that flu shot. Um, if you're sick, 
stay home. You want to keep your environment clean, disinfect doorknobs, phones, um, computers, anything that you use um, you know, at work in common. And um, just try to get plenty of sleep and hydration to, to help your body um, fight off the viruses this time of year because it has been a bad season so far. If you want to find out more information about everything that we talked about today, there's a great website called betterstufffortlife.com. You can read about everything there and more. Thank you, Linda, for your time. I appreciate it. Hold that smile for three, two, one, and...